Oftentimes it comes with back pain, but doesn't always have to. Sometimes it can start in the glute or buttock region, traveling all the way down the back or the side of the leg, all the way down to even the toe. Now with chronic cases of sciatica, we find a lot of people that are, have flat feet. Um, but besides that, sciatica can also cause a feeling of tightness in the hamstring and oftentimes gets worse uh, when you're sitting and you're compressing or putting pressure on those discs. Now, that being said, sciatica doesn't always have to come from a disc herniation or a disc bulge or a subluxation, which is a misalignment in the spine. It can also come from something called piriformis syndrome, which is a really small muscle in here that can be really tight, putting pressure on that sciatic nerve. Now, that is the least common way, though. Usually, when you have a case of sciatica, it's usually coming from the disc and from the spine itself. Now I'm gonna show you a disc and how it bulges and herniates. If you have any more questions and wanna see this in 3D, we have some great videos in 3D on our YouTube channel. But this right here is a disc bulge. You can see the disc coming out and putting pressure on this nerve right here. And then if you look on this side, you'll see there's no bulge on this side, okay? You can also have a herniation, which can cause a chemical irritation to the sciatic nerve. And then you can also have arthritis. You can see all the lipping and spurring along the bones, the disc degeneration. That can also cause arthritis and pressure on that sciatic nerve. It's important to note though that only 2% of cases require surgery. Most cases get really great results. And what we do in our office is a mixture of spinal decompression, cold laser therapy to speed the healing, and the gold standard, Cox flexion distraction. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to check out our YouTube channel or comment below. Thank you.